Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to kind of do another little video about, I see a lot of these people uh, on these fishing channels and they have so much stuff and they have so much high end and things that you're like, I can't afford that kind of stuff and that's just not what I want to spend my money on. And I like fishing. I I actually I love fishing a lot. Uh it's part a big part of my uh growing up, doing what you do. Uh but I know a lot of people have they're like, I'm not spending five hundred dollars on a rod and reel and everything like that so i just kind of wanted to run through what we have and what we do to i don't know why my hose is so itchy i'm sorry like every video i think it's my my beard or my mustache or something i'm sorry anywho <laughs> i got a cocaine game problem no um not really no please don't uh so i just wanted to kind of go through everything that i I carry on a on an everyday basis. Uh, I usually just kind of keep it in the truck. I'm not really worried about anybody stealing anything or anything like that. And if I am, if I'm in an area where I'm like, eh, I'll throw it in the truck, and it all breaks down or it all just fits. And I have a extended cab truck, which uh, weird brag. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to kind of go through my cheap still gets the job done everyday stuff for people who feel like i want to go fishing but i don't want to spend the money and i completely hear you and there are some really good options out there for everybody and here are some of mine so up here we've got let's get my dome out of there don't know the name of it uh thought it looked cool bought it on amazon uh actually my wife did for our anniversary um, you're getting a real good shot of my sweaty pits. It's kind of hot here. Actually, it's probably not, but I'm a sweaty dude. Just get over it. So here we go. Uh, this guy, it's a Yaka Omo something awesome. Okay, U-M-A. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Does the job. It's nice, got a nice, it's a... Well, six, uh, I'll give you, you don't care. It doesn't matter. Go fishing. It doesn't matter what you got. I've got everything from ones that you get on sale uh, in the Walmart bin to things I've ordered online, things I've put together, things I've accidentally stolen from other buddies, um, or they've just left it in my truck, or like this uh, bait caster. It's actually my favorite night. I lie, I, I paid for that one. It, it's cool. It's an Abu Garcia. It's nothing fancy. I just really wanted a bait caster because you see all these dudes and it was really affordable. I think the rod, the rod itself ended up with a discount because it got marked down because the tip was broken. I don't need 18 feet of rod. I just needed something pretty nice and easy. All these, this one is an Ike, uh, Mike and Ellie, Abu Garcia, uh, one I saw online. I thought it was gonna be something different. I definitely did not read the description It's a kid's rod, but you know what for catching perch and doing some just Crappy fishing being able to break it down and stick it in the kayak that way I don't have to deal with it anymore perfect um, Did some uh, uh, Dock fishing out in League City a couple years ago bought this a little bit of heavier guy So maybe I could catch some red uh, some reds or stuff like that off a of dock and just old rods that I've had forever, a little Zebco. Um, this guy, just, it's a little Shakespeare. Just go fishing. It doesn't matter. You don't need $900 stuff. It's cool to have, but it's not necessary. Ooh, this, minutes, this video is almost four minutes long already. Anyway, so then got a little ugly stick bag i love this bag it does just what i need it to do it's got these little straps here that i can definitely hook a carabiner through like i have over here hook it to the uh strips of my kayak over here you'll see these guys you don't need some yeah, milk crate works great sometimes you just can't find a milk crate still just want to go fishing i think i got the bag and it came with a couple of boxes with it I got the box for, I don't even remember. I mean, your stuff will last you if you take care of it. I didn't, I don't take care of my stuff and oh, mustache. 
I hate my beard. I want to shave it off so bad. Anywho, we'll go ahead and lay some of this stuff out. It'll fit five of these boxes in here. And so this is the well. It's got a little sturdy open bottom. This doesn't really want to collapse on you, so it does well. We'll go into the rest of it later. These things, these little value boxes, you can't go wrong with them. They give you so many options. Everything stays pretty dry. If you get it wet, you know, leave it out on top of your doghouse like I'm doing. A little 907 and a half. <laughs> um, so here's this. Uh, got some Seikos, got some lizards, got some really long ribbon tails and stuff like that. Half this stuff, I, I like to pretend that I know how to use really well, and I really don't. I just go fishing. And like, like I always say, it's not about how you do it, as long as you go do it. Another little box, I keep uh, just recycling these boxes. They're good little boxes, they're little plano boxes. I mean, you can't go wrong. I think you can get this whole box for nine, ten dollars $10, something like that. And sometimes you can get them out of season on like in the winter or in the fall. These things go on sale and they're dirt cheap. Uh, do not feel bad about buying the $1 lures and stuff like that. They're just as good. There are plenty of videos out there going, oh, I don't know why anybody ever says anything. And the rubber bands fall off. Half the time, I'm going to get a caught up in a tree anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, here's a look into some of my boxes. Now, I did do, I won't lie, uh, and this isn't a shameless plug or anything like that because I'm definitely not sponsored by them. I don't know why my nose. I, I think it's a nervous tick. Anywho. Um, I definitely have a lot of these uh, a lot of these came from the uh, lucky tackle box stuff these are like really nice lures that i have no idea when to use and stuff like that but you know what i throw them every now and then but then at the same time i might as well just hang them up because they're just going to get caught in trees i'm not the greatest of uh, fishermen but some of these little guys they can get for a dollar and stuff like that throw them you know just going out and have some fun i take a lot of my friends out that don't really get to go fishing all that often um, I'm lucky enough to have a little creek, uh, that I get to go play around on. Um, again, just a bunch of spinners. These little guys, a dollar at Walmart. It doesn't look bad. It's been through some hell. It's got a little heat damage. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's got a little heat damage. It's fine. I'm going to lose it in a bush or something. It's totally okay. Do not spin all this money. I mean, if y'all want to send me some free stuff, that's fine. But outside of that... Don't spend your money on those. You're just going to go out and have a good time. Drink a couple beers. Hang out with your buddies. It's not about showing off. It's about doing your fun stuff. That being said, um, I do have some things I've actually spent a little bit of cash on. So, like this. This is a Plano. Uh, I couldn't give you all the specs if I tried because I lost the receipt. And I don't care all that much. And you'll, you'll know it when you see it. But it is a dry box for your lures and stuff like that. It's got three hinges on it. Um, life hack. I take, I eat a lot of beef jerky and I get a lot of beef jerky for friends and everything like that. I take these silica packets. They are the raddest things ever because they soak up all the water. So if you were to get a little bit of water in there, well, I say that and there, look at all that rust and everything in there. But um, it's just fishing. It ain't science throw those in there they help keep a little bit of the rust out and stuff like that uh again a lot of this stuff came from a couple you know spending way too much money on a lucky tackle box and then forgetting that i was doing it and kept receiving the boxes and then my wife's like why is this money going every week uh or every month but they do give you some really rad stuff um and i know there's tons of different things but anyway I did spend a little bit of money on this. I think this ended up costing me like another like nine, ten bucks at Walmart. It's got a good follow through to it. I don't know how I need to be angling this. Uh, all right, so really rad. Keeps everything separated, dried out. About once a month, I'll go and open everything out and put it all on the uh, uh, on the coffee table and rearrange stupid nose anywho um also i got one of these buffs i don't know if y'all have ever used them i always see people using them i have a beard 
and then I also put on sunscreen so but these things make you feel like a bank robber on the water it's cool um, you might have seen this on another I keep in my uh, in my tackle box I keep this guy so this is just a cheapo still wet in the bag I left my bag in the back of the truck and it rained last night so I've been drying everything out on top of the doghouse um, I use this on my kayak uh, I hook a little carabiner right here. It's just a little cheapo retractable dog leash. It can lock out everything like that. When I'm doing brush lines and stuff, I can keep I can keep over there. Or if we're just sitting on the kayaks drinking beer, everybody can catch up with me. Or I can catch up with them, and we can just kind of hang out. But anyway, like I said, it's not about uh, ooh, what was a wasp or something. Anyway, it's not about how you do it. It's just about going out and doing it. Y'all have a good day.